In a world where women search for inspiration from all walks of life, there are no better role models than those indicated to us by the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. In a famous narration, Anas bin Malik reported that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, from among the women of the world who have reached perfection and who are worthy of following are the following four. Maryam, the daughter of Imran, Khadijah, daughter of Kuwailid, Fatima, daughter of Muhammad, and Asiya, wife of Firan. Let's take a closer look into the lives of these women. Khadijah bint Kuwailid. Khadijah was a wealthy merchant who was well established in the city of Makkah. She proposed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when she was 40 years old despite being 15 years his senior. She enjoyed a fulfilling marriage to the Prophet and was the first person to accept Islam after he received revelation. She went through a great amount of suffering following the prophethood of Muhammad peace be upon him, and she undertook many sacrifices to support his mission. The Prophet never forgot her great service to himself and the Islamic faith. He would in fact always remind others of her great favor years after her passing. Aisha says, in a narration, the Prophet peace be upon him used to mention Khadijah very often, and whenever he slaughtered a sheep, he would cut its parts and send them to the women friends of Khadijah. When I sometimes said to him, you treat Khadijah in such a way, as if there is no woman on earth except Khadijah, he would say, Khadijah was such and such, and from her I had children. The Prophet peace be upon him also informed us that it was Allah himself who sent her glad tidings of paradise and bestowed upon her greetings of peace. Aisha also says, I never felt so jealous of any woman as I felt of Khadijah. For Allah ordered the Prophet, peace be upon him, to give Khadijah the glad tidings of a palace in paradise for her. Fatima bint Muhammad. Fatima was the daughter of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Khadijah. She was well known for her piety, modesty, and faith. She would also often come to the defense of her father whenever he was attacked by those who despised his religion. She was nicknamed Al-Zara by the Prophet, which means splendor. She also married the cousin of the Prophet, Ali ibn Abi Talib, and gave birth to four children, Hassan, Hussein, Zainab, and Umm Kulthum. She lived a life of simplicity and often experienced great hardship and poverty. The Prophet also informed her on his deathbed that she would be a leader of the women in paradise. O oh, Fatima, would you not be pleased that you are a leader of the women of paradise? Bukhari and Muslim. Asiya bint Muzahim. Asiya was the wife of the tyrant Pharaoh and lived during the time of the prophet Moses. She, in fact, raised Moses herself and was a stern believer in Allah. After Pharaoh had become aware of her devotion to faith, she suffered severe oppression. After all, it was her husband who would claim to be God himself. He eventually organized for her to be crushed by a boulder. However, Allah had taken away her soul before this occurred. She was referred to by Allah as an example for the believers. She had also asked Allah for a palace in paradise near him and was granted this, as indicated in the Quran. And Allah presents an example of those who believed the wife of Pharaoh, when she said, My Lord, build for me near you a house in paradise and save me from Pharaoh and his deeds and save me from the wrongdoing people. Quran 66, 11. Maryam bint Imran. Maryam was the mother of the prophet Jesus who had a miraculous birth without a father. Her story is given in great detail throughout the Quran, including her religious upbringing, her miracles, and also her ability to overcome the accusations of the townspeople. There is in fact an entire chapter named after Maryam in the Quran. Allah states about her in the Quran, Allah has chosen you, purified you, and chosen you above all women. Quran 342. Allah also referred to her as an example for the believers and stated that she believed in the words of her Lord in his scriptures and was of the devoutly obedient. Quran 66, 12. 